Hello again, Leap of Light from Axiom Labs. And I'm here today to answer a question that comes up a lot, and that is, how much does the GC cost? So GC stands for gas chromatograph. Um, there are uh, lots of GCs in the world. There are uh, lots of different prices. It would be sort of like asking how much does a car cost? Well, a used Pinto might be a thousand dollars and a high-end Ferrari might be a million dollars. But with GCs, a brand new GC is gonna run you about 30 to $50,000. Now that is for a modern uh, state-of-the-art GC. You know, for fifty thousand, you're going to get all the bells and whistles. You're going to get the auto sampler. You're going to get the data system. Uh, this does not include a mass spec, by the way. GC mass spec, we're talking more like a hundred thousand uh, dollars and and up from there. But GCs, like I said, thirty to fifty thousand. If you're looking for a bargain, uh, call up your salesperson and ask them to give you a quote on a refurbished piece of equipment. Now, the salespeople hate when I tell you this, but uh, all the major players out there, Agilent, Shimatsu, Thermo. They're all out there, uh, they sell refurbished equipment of their own and they sell it with a warranty. So uh, not to give away uh, too many of my best secrets, but uh, not long ago, I bought a used, uh, a refurbished uh, piece of GC equipment, an Agilent 7890, it was the, the current model at the time. Um, and we got it for about 13 or $14,000. So that is just the instrument without the data system, but that gives you an idea. Uh, look for uh, getting quotes on refurbished equipment, great equipment. Um, GCs are very durable. I have a GC in my lab that was made in the early 90s, I believe 1991, uh, and it still works great. So these are pretty durable devices. There's not a lot of moving parts. Uh, so if you buy a good quality instrument, uh, even if it's used, even if it's refurbished, you should get quite a few years out of it. So that's uh, the cost of a GC in a nutshell.